Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and today in this video I'll be talking about a new feature which is introduced by Microsoft Visual Studio team which is Visual Studio Live Share and today in this video I'll be talking about an introduction to Visual Studio Live Share and how it's useful for automation testing and in the cross-platform environments. Alright, so let's get started. Live Share LiveShare enables your team to quickly collaborate on the same code base without the need to synchronize the code or to configure the same development tools, settings, and environments. For instance, if you're going to share a code to one of the third-party person or if you're going to get a help from one of the tester or developer who is sitting somewhere across the globe, and you want to get his feedback or understand how the code is actually looking like, you don't necessarily need that person to have access to your source code repo or the plugins to be installed and something like that because maybe for some reason you may be working in windows operating system and your peer who is sitting in us somewhere who is working in the mac operating system may not have all the necessary plugins and source code repo and things of that nature but with visual studio live share feature the person who has the mac operating system and if he has only Visual Studio or Visual Studio code in, in his machine, can just get the link and start debugging the code and understand how the code is and he can also help you fix the issue. So as that said, the person don't really need to have a source code repo access and clone the source code repo and he don't really have to install the plugins you need to have for developing the code and the nagging team viewer or Skype to understand the code logic because there are so many situations where I have seen people getting the help from the external parties using the team viewer or Skype to make him access the code and debug the code, but it is really, really painful. But live share is going to be very, very easy and handy. And there is something called collaborative debugging. Collaborative debugging goes further, allowing you and your team to independently inspect object using the debugging feature like hovering locals and watch and the stack trace and the debug consoles and all those stuff. So you are both able to set the breakpoint and advance the debug cursor to step through the sessions. That is really, really cool. And again, this collaborative debugging feature, I'm not going to show in this video, but yes, you can do that as well. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to my Mac operating system. All right, so this is my Mac operating system and I have Visual Studio code already installed in my machine and I have also installed the Visual Studio live share feature. So today what I'm going to do is this. I am going to start showing you some of the source code that I have downloaded from my Exit Automation GitHub repo, which is nothing but the Selenium.NET Core repository. Maybe you can use any repository because we're not going to do any debugging here. So I'm going to go to my finder. I will be navigating to git folder and there is a selenium with C sharp folder and I'm going to just open the uh, terminal here and then I'm just going to type code and hit enter. So this is going to bring me Visual Studio code for this particular code. You can see that I have already in installed this Visual Studio uh, live share plugin in my Visual Studio Code and since it is already installed in my Visual Studio Code you can see that I have this share option available here. So this share option and this execute automation login will not be available if you don't really have this particular plugin installed. And you can see that I have already signed in as a execute automation login. So this is pretty much this user and this is the share option. So you can see there are some options like start collaboration sessions, join collaboration session if somebody else has shared you the session ID. And you can also sign out from Visual Studio Live Share account, right? So these are the three options which is available for you here. So this is my Mac operating system and I'm going to share my code to my Windows operating systems Visual Studio code. So the Windows is again, I have my parallels running in my uh, Mac operating system. So I'm just going to call the Visual Studio code and you can see this is from the Windows 10. So I'm just going to open that here. So I'm just going to double click. So that's going to restore the parallel desktop. So you can see it is resuming the uh, Windows 10 operating system for me. 
and that's also going to bring the uh, visual studio code editor for me all right you can see that my windows 10 operating system is now running in my uh, mac operating system so uh, this is the power of the parallels so i'm just gonna uh, maybe run this in what is called as a coherence mode so which means any application that i open is going to start running uh, side by side in the coherence mode so that's really really handy so now this is the visual studio code for mac and if i want to open the uh, visual studio code which is running in windows if i just click that over here you can see that this is actually from visual studio code from windows operating system super cool right so that's really really cool all right uh, now what i'm going to do is this I'm going to share my code, which is available over here in my Mac operating system. And I don't have any traces of this code in my Windows operating system, which is running in the uh, parallels. So I'm going to share this code to a different user. So uh, you can see that currently I have the Visual Studio Live Share. So I think it's doing some sort of uh, installation here. So let it complete because if I don't have that particular stuff it is going to take some time all right so uh, you can see that this time the user is actually cart mcat he's a different user uh, and he's exit automation he's a different user again so i'm just going to share the code from the mac operating system you can see there is the sharing um, option coming in here so all right it's going to take some time and you have this invite link copied to the clipboard and send it to anyone whom you trust so you can copy this thing and now if you go to the uh, Visual Studio code for Windows operating system and you can just search for control shift P and then there is something called join collaboration session so if I select that you can see automatically the clipboard has been pasted here and if I hit enter you can see it is joining in and the code from Mac operating system is now automatically coming in my Windows operating systems Visual Studio code that's really really powerful so you can see that the whole code without even copy pasting is automatically coming in here and now if I will show a more great feature so this is something which is running in my Mac operating system so do you see there is something called as cart mcad it just shown up here so if I do something over here, you can see it is automatically showing that the cart MCAD user is going to do something here. So you can see it is so faster and so instant that two operating systems can work together just like a touch of change here. So let, let's say we just change here. See that fast it is. And similarly, if this user, exit automation user, is going to do something here. And now you can see that it's actually execute automation user who is doing it and we can see that from the uh, visual studio uh, okay let me put this side by side here so if i do something here you can see it shows cart mcad so if i show in the mac operating system you can see it shows execute automation there that fast it is so that's the collaboration that you can do with the visual studio live share so easily and you can also debug the code. So if you hit a breakpoint and if you try to run the breakpoint uh, from the code over here, it is going to start debugging the session. You can also share the server if you're running the Node.js and you can do a lot of things with this Visual Studio Live Share. It's really, really cool. And I guess this is really powerful because this has a great feature which can be used and leveraged to work collaboratively within team across the globe and also someone who is going to write automation testing and if you want some help while working with the courses that i have been releasing in udemy you can just ask the questions to me and you can share your code directly to me so that i can try to debug and help you out to fix the problem so that's it so this is the new feature of visual studio and the visual studio live share is really really amazing so once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day